Self-Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress-free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self-love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody, this is W. Mark Watts. Welcome and thank you for hanging out with me for another episode of Self-Love is the New Sexy. And tonight's call will be a little brief but to the point, as I try and do each and every time we talk. So tonight's uh, conversation is centered around how to ask and receive the answer that you're looking for the most right now. How to ask and receive the answer that you're looking for the most right now. And this topic is top of mind for me, yours truly, You know how I like to do. I like to keep things relevant. I like to bring it to you fresh while it's, you know, actually happening as closely as I can in my life. Because the one thing that I've learned and the one reason that I one of the reasons why I do this podcast is because I've learned that if I'm going through something, then I know many other people are going through it. And most certainly people who are listening to this podcast are going through something similar to what I'm going through through at the same time so hopefully as I navigate these this journey you know I might be can maybe can offer you know some little semblance of of light or something that will help guide you to the next step that you're looking to get to as well so in this very moment I am considering thinking open to feeling the universe calling me to do something new calling me to change as a matter of fact imploring me because of the physical uh, challenges that I'm uh, dealing with right now and uh, I know it's all guided it's all for a reason everything has a purpose so I am open to whatever's next in my life however many times when things like this are happening in our lives we don't know what to do next or what to expect or why things are happening. And those are all questions that we ask ourselves, and oftentimes don't have any information on, don't get the answers that we're looking for or, or not readily available to us so far as we think. So I am practicing and have for some time and I'm actually being led for sure to go back to this practice in order to get the next step of guidance for my life and for what I'm supposed to be moving into. Um, So what what does that mean? What does that look like? It's really simple. I think I've mentioned it maybe in a previous episode, but I wanna go back into it, keep it really simple and concise so that it's something that's very actionable for you to do pretty much immediately, you know, whenever you feel led to do it. And I guess maybe that's probably the first thing that I want to uh, highlight is when things are going, you know, bad or, or you're stuck or you're struggling or there's certain things that are puzzling you. That in and of itself is a good thing. Now, before you think I'm really crazy, really off my rocker, which, you know, I might be sometimes. I want you to realize that that's happening for a reason. It's because you are supposed to take note. You are supposed to stop. It's supposed to get your attention. You need to heed what's actually happening so that you can get the guidance that you need to move forward. So when something's really puzzling you, we have to stop. You have to become aware of it. Stop and make a point to figure out what's going on. Sometimes things will just come to you, but many times you have to stop, slow down, listen so that you can hear and get the guidance and the understanding that you need. So that's first. Then once you do stop, it's all about asking the right questions, all about asking good questions. The better 
the better quality question you ask, the better quality answers you receive from the universe and the more clarity you will receive in the moment. Now, sometimes, it, you know, that'll happen quickly and sometimes it'll take a little while for it to work itself out. But I found that the better quality question I ask, the better clarity I get and the faster I get that clarity. So that's number two. Then number three is actually taking the time to do it. So what am I, what am I talking about? Very simply put, find time in your day, your morning, your night, whenever you can to get some quiet time for yourself. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever feels right for you. We have to get quiet. When we get quiet, and we feel that the universe is in a good space. We feel kind of connected. And you'll know how, what I mean by that. You'll feel at peace. Or you'll start to think about this particular topic, whatever that is for your life, um, quite a bit. And you will be led to, um, to want to know more about it. Those are all signs that it's time for you to get quiet and sit down. So when you get quiet, you sit down. You know, feet, nothing fancy, just feet on the floor. Uh, close your eyes, open your eyes, whatever feels comfortable. And what I like to do is just focus either on my breathing or either go into my heart, which means pay attention to my heart space. So just put your focus on where your heart is in your body physically and just sit with it. And if thoughts come, that's fine. No worries. Just let them pass. And as you continue to do that, it's a form of meditation. So just allow the, yourself to calm down. Nice, even breaths, three, four counts, in and out. And once you really calm down and move into that space real time where your awareness is right where you need it to be in the moment, you can wait and hear what questions or what pops into your mind consistently or most strongly or that something a thought that pops in your mind that you feel really aligned to that really feels good that is your hint that might be your statement that might be your question so take note of that so in that in that moment of quiet and peace what major thought comes to your mind what voice do you hear that really feels good, that really makes sense, that really you have peace with, or that really intrigues you? That's, that's the piece of information you need. And then from there, you can either ask the question, you know, how do I go about accomplishing this? What's most important about this moment for me? What am I supposed to learn in this moment? You know, what's my mission? What's my place? What part do I play? in this overall picture you know how do i serve myself how do i serve others better in this moment you know what's the next step for me what's the bigger picture whatever your question is about it ask that question and then be ready to take down the notes you know most people use their phones i use my phone now but if you want to write just write it down jot the notes down and that will give you the best piece of information that you can get in the very in that moment and then once you have that information it's now time to act on it so put together a quick action plan how do I accomplish that and if you don't know how to do it go back into that space of silence and ask the question hey I know I'm supposed to do x I'm just research y and this looks like what I'm supposed to do how do I accomplish it who, who can help me accomplish this you know, how long will it take? Where do I go next? Who do I need to talk to? Whatever that next question is for you, ask the universe the question and you'll receive guidance. So it's very clear, very quick, just recap. You know, when that situation, that event, that place in your life is troubling you, seems to stump you, seems to be holding you back. Number one, be aware of it. Take the time to give it your attention. Number two, get quiet. Five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever feels good for you. I focus, I, next step is a brief meditation. Essentially, either just 
getting quiet, eyes open or closed, whatever feels comfortable. Um, my breathing, three or four counts, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale. Calm down and just listen. Whatever the pervading thought is or question is or problem is, that's what is up for you to deal with, to become aware of and to move forward on right now. When that comes up, if you don't know the answers that you need to take the actionable steps and go back into that space of quiet, whether you're just focused on your breathing, I like to focus on my heart, my heart space, and then wait to see what answers come because they will come. Trust me, they will come. And once you get that, now it's time to move and get into action. So I hope that helps you in some way, shape or form with whatever it is that may be holding you up right now or, or stumping you or, or really top of mind puzzling you. Because what I've found, what's worked for me and the people that I've worked with and, and studied under is guidance is key. And I. We have to trust the guidance that we get. Oftentimes, we don't trust the guidance that we get. We get the responses. We get the questions. We know the issues. We have an actionable plan, but we don't oftentimes trust it. And by trusting it, that means you got to move forward all out and, and really take this thing to the next level. So that's what I'm doing right now to get the answers and the guidance and the, uh, the plans that I need. Hopefully, this helps you. And, you know, leave me a comment wherever you find me on social media and let me know what you're working on, what's your next steps, your actionable plans. Until next time, be good, everybody. Get quiet, ask great questions, jot down the answers, and then get into action. Talk to you all again soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.